this is a replica of the world's highest achievement award for any military officer or soldier, the Congressional Medal of Honor. Only a select few have ever received this in the history of America. And this belongs to a man named Lieutenant Commander Edward Butch O'Hare. Commander O'Hare was a World War II hero and a fighter pilot, and he is the reason Chicago O'Hare Airport has its name. As you can see, this is the memorial set up inside the airport for Butch O'Hare. And this, this is a replica of the F-4F-3 Wildcat that he flew during his missions during World War II. You can see it's not a big plane. He would sit inside the cockpit, just under the Astrodome, right up there. This is more toward the front of the Wildcat, but this plane is definitely not the fastest one that was in the World War II theater. This is nevertheless the one that he flew, and on one particular mission when his uh, comrades had to fly back to their ship, the Lexington, he spotted eight enemy bombers coming off the Japanese aircraft carrier. This is a pretty good painting, hopefully you can see it, of him engaging all eight in single combat. And in four minutes, he managed to take down five enemy planes and wounding a sixth one before the fight was over. For this action, he was awarded the Congressional Medal of Honor, and he served for two more years as a World War II ace and fighter pilot until finally he was lost somewhere in the Japanese theater. We're not sure what happened to him. Because of his actions, his aircraft carrier, the Lexington, survived and repelled the attack. This is one of the only posters that the Navy used to try to recruit men to join the Navy during World War II. Obviously, you can see this is directed toward high school grads, ages 18 to 26. There's this picture as a young man, as recorded inside of the U.S. Naval Academy's graduating class book called Lucky Bag. And here is the man himself.